This is New Day Northwest. Now from the Premier of Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning. Welcome to New Day Northwest. First up this morning, we're all just looking for a place to belong. So what about the Wolf Pack? Our Hot Topics Wake Up Week continues with the Seattle Morning Show dedicated to country music and the Pacific Northwest. Please welcome from 107.7's The Wolf, Matt McAllister and Emily Rains. It's so good to Hi. have you guys here. We are thrilled to be here. Thank you. for Nobody invites us anywhere. I know. Right? Well, <laughs> we wanted you for a long well, time. We, we enjoy starting... your show. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. You've never heard it, have you? I have heard your show. Absolutely. <laughs> My husband is more of a country fan than I am. So really? when I'm in his truck, and I'm nice. serious, okay. his truck, it's often dialed too. You said truck, so we can be friends. Mm -hmm. We can be friends. I love yes. it. Okay, so let's talk about a few hot topics, shall we? Turns out Amazon yesterday said they finally decided, you know, they've been doing this you know, search for the next place mm -hmm. where they would open. And everybody kind of thought they were going to open in maybe a little town that needed to be rejuvenated. But they've decided to sort of split between Long Island City and New York and Queens and around Arlington and Virginia. Crystal City is kind of a you know bedroom community for, for D.C. Um, $1.5 billion dollars. Are the incentives they've been paid to come and locate there? Thoughts, thoughts about this. Well, didn't your brother just sell yeah, a house just, like right there? Yeah, about oh. two years ago in Arlington, oh. and he's like, oh, why? Oh. Yeah, but it's already ridiculously expensive to live there, so I can't imagine the prices it's going to cost now. Right, because I guess they're going to have like really high-paying jobs, a lot of them, yeah. 100,000 and, and above. So it's surely going to drive prices up, right? Well, I got a question. Why not Detroit? I mean, why are you right. going to go to, I mean, I, I get it that perhaps you need a big city with lots of people. You need qualified applicants for right. lots of jobs. Lots and lots. But why not go to a city that's hurting? Why not go to Toledo? Remember when Jeep yeah. pulled out of Toledo? The yeah. whole town died. Same thing with Detroit. I, I just, in a way, I felt sort of like, well, here's giving people that already have more. And I don't know, all I would say, too, is it's already expensive, like you were saying, Emily. Yeah. Get ready for what's happening around here, and I or remember buy a house really quick. Right yeah, now, like those yeah. two today. places. I'm call, sure they already skyrocketed. Right. Call your realtor because somebody said, be <laughs> careful what you wish for. Yeah. It's great. I mean, we're all going to have the Amazon chip in our head eventually yeah. and be owned yeah. by. Oh, Jeff, listen, I'm a huge fan. I mean, I can't so exactly. love anything more than I love Amazon Prime. <laughs> so I'm I'm all over it. In fact, if it doesn't come to my porch, I don't need it. I so know. This is. This is not a, a but, knock but on them. Don't you feel too? And, and I listen. I agree. It's like Christmas every day. It is. <laughs> it but really is. Don't you feel like, in a way, too, we're all getting so lazy? Like we're so lazy, and we have. It's life is so easy. Like I find myself complaining if something's like six stops away. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I'm fine with it. I'm. <laughs> yeah. I'm totally. I'm with you. I'm totally okay. Totally the more convenient, the better. They're gonna I have to come rescue all of us from our couches eventually. <laughs> be like, look. You weigh 800 pounds. It's time to move <laughs> a little bit. Well, as long as we're getting our exercise and doing our good deeds and all that I kind of suppose. stuff. I right? suppose. Give it a silver lining. And I, a whole day to replace a, replace a light fixture the other day, and we just said, man, we are the first ones gone in the zombie apocalypse. Oh. We're like, we're yeah. down like, I'm in opening the first my door. Come and get me. I, I've <laughs> got, I'm just yeah. going to surrender. We did something really interesting on the show the other day. We went back and we looked at what our first Amazon purchase was. Mm -hmm. Do you oh. remember what yours? No the, idea. No. Hey, so a lot of people forget this, but both of ours were books. Yeah. Amazon yeah. started as a book right, company, right, and right. we both we were like, why did we buy a book? Oh, that's the only yeah. thing they sold. So. Right. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I'd have to go back and see. I'd be very interested. When you go to your orders, just yeah. go to Purchase History, and we were both, but do you remember the book you bought? Mine was a book on football. Like it wow. was about blood, sweat, and chalk or something, and it was the history of schemes of football. Well, now I'm really curious. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. look mine up. That's a good idea. Okay. Next topic, decorating for the holidays earlier could make you happier, a study claims. <laughs> it's the Journal of Environmental Psychology. So I guess, you know, the psychology of things that are around you, what your yeah. immediate. Yeah. I don't know. I've been happier since we got the new set. So <laughs> maybe there's something true We're missing to this. the wheel, but other than that, it's beautiful. Yes, exactly. I miss the wheel. Oh, I miss the wheel. Yeah. It was like a carnival. We should, like, start a petition yeah. to get back the wheel. It was um, wacky. It was Yeah, fun. it yeah. was, and it made that cool sound. So when do you decorate for Christmas, and what do you have rules? Do you have thoughts? I always grew up, my birthday is December 6th, so in my house we decorated the weekend after my birthday because my mom was very good about like not having Christmas overshadow my yes, birthday. Yes, focus on you yes. and then go to Christmas. So I think that's good. It gives you Thanksgiving and then gives me my birthday right. and then Christmas can start. Right. He's not. I know. He's not on, he doesn't agree with this. that. What well, listen. Think? I have a birthday that's almost exactly the same day as Emily's. <laughs> yes. It's December third. But because I wasn't a coddled millennial, my parents didn't care. It was like, oh my no. gosh, we have a 
have a curmudgeon in the house. I, I love know. it. Just, the world doesn't revolve around me, and I'm very aware of that. And my mom and dad What's made sure I knew. What's your birthday? Yes. No, we, the <laughs> world. We look. We have to celebrate Emily's half birthday now. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like well. really. But anyway, the point being, I think it's blasphemy before Thanksgiving to even talk about it. And I think maybe because the big box stores now do it so openly. Yes. And it used to be they yeah. would sneak it in the back. Now it's you walk in Target, Hobby I Lobby, saw Michaels. I stuff before Halloween this oh, yeah. year. I just think, I saw man, stuff before Halloween in a store. It gave yeah. me and they're eyes. getting tricky because they do sales that end like right now, so you have to buy it before. Like Interesting. November even gets. I mean, into we it. sort of we do this on a deadline at our house. I don't. I think being in the news business for a long time and also growing up in a military family, where sometimes we'd have to mm -hmm. move Christmas to another day because sure. my dad yeah. was, you know, someplace else. Um, I just have a sense of it's it should happen when it happens, but I don't want to feel pressure at yeah. Christmas. That's where wrecks it. Thanksgiving weekend. It's very simple. I agree. Always. Yes. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no gray the area. Tree. There's no millennial birthdays <laughs> right. to get in the way. It's Thanksgiving get weekend. <laughs> it's only one week. I like Thanksgiving to get its proper due. And I'll tell you why. Because it's it's a very non-marketed holiday. Yeah. It's just about mm -hmm. family and, and having some meals and getting fat and happy. And That is by a mile my favorite holiday. Just because easy. it's easy. By a mile. But by decorating before, you're disrespecting Thanksgiving. It's and look. <laughs> Drugs might make you happy. It doesn't mean you should do them all the time. <laughs> that is a really good point. I use Thank that you. often she, when she people say, really no, I do agree with that. When people say there's a big market for something, I'm like, oh, that doesn't make There's a lot of difference. things that are going to make you happy. doesn't mean that they're right. Very, I'm, I'm See, down you, you with the right and wrong. Me. With you the right and wrong. Emily, Speaking you're, of things you're about that to get out right and wrong, here. No, no, I'm all uh, no. <laughs> your birthday at yeah. the same time. You do you. Um, <laughs> going out with a big bang. A woman in Texas where I'm from, so I can say this, outside of San Antonio, finishes up a marriage, of, <laughs> wrapping up a marriage of 14 years, very happy, she has a party. Um, she wanted to blow up, well, she wanted to burn her wedding dress, but then she decided she'd blow it up by setting, um, setting up some explosives and then firing at it with a rifle. Now, this is out in, the, in Nowheresville, so it wasn't like in the middle of San Antonio. Uh, it set off a blast that could be heard for 15 miles. Do we think this might be overkill? No. No! No! I think every woman has had this fantasy. Fantasy, yeah, of burning something and go huge. And it's the end of a 14 year marriage that sounded like it didn't end very well. He must not have been sweet to her. I mean, mm -hmm. I've wanted to Infidelity, burn stuff and perhaps. couldn't. So yep. I'm like, you go. I have girl. nothing in my notes about the. <laughs> <laughs> about I'm just that. wondering if that was intentional. Because it showed, you know, the picture you showed was like a cute little thing in the backyard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. A, how, how far away were people? People could, well, I don't know how far like 15, people backed yeah, up, but 15. people could hear it for 15 miles. I, I wonder, wonder how far away he was, if he could hear it. That's the million dollar question right there. And I'm just wondering if maybe she got some C5, like you were saying, ex military, didn't really know what it was. Like, I don't know, throw it on the fire. <laughs> that, Let's there warm it is up. actually the identification of the explosive in here, but just not to give anybody ideas. Yeah, I'm just that's a good, little bit alone. This is TV. Leave Let's it alone. Be responsible. <laughs> I've enjoyed, this is very interesting. I like this relationship, the millennial, and yeah. then the, you know, the guy in the front. He's not so I'm not sure. an old man. I mean, um, but, you know, I just have common sense. And oh, so but that's what old men day. say. So that's oh, exactly. God. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. Love I like having that. both of you here. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, you can listen to the Morning Wolf Pack from 5 to 9 a.m. on 100.7 The Wolf. Do listen. They get up super early. They deserve it. Please stick around for the rest of the show because we're dedicating the rest of the hour to unique holiday gift ideas, starting with friends from University Village, gifts for everybody on your list from one-of-a-kind stores right after.